Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. This video is going to be very interesting because I have seen questions asked from this topic a lot. And most of the students they ask like, what is the DNA repair mechanism? Please explain DNA repair mechanisms. Although this is not something to be discussed in single lecture. We have a series of lectures now to talk about the DNA repair mechanisms. But this first lecture is going to build the foundation for your understanding of DNA repair types. What are the type of repair that the DNA repair mechanisms are involved with? And what are the enzymes which are involved with this process? And why do you need to undergo all this DNA repair mechanism? First, you need to understand all of this. Then only you will understand individual mechanisms in details and connect the dots to get a clear idea about the overall concept. So, understand this class very very clearly. We are going to talk about the types of DNA repair mechanisms involved in our body, in our cells, in eukaryotic organisms let's imagine. Why those repair mechanisms are involved, how they are involved and what are the enzymes that they are involved with. This is very important to understand. If there is any issue with the DNA, because DNA carries all the informations, right? If there is any issue with the DNA, then single DNA can be amplified to multiple mRNA, remember. And that multiple mRNA will even make thousands, thousands, crores and all different numbers of proteins. So the magnification is huge. Even a small damage or change to the DNA will largely magnify itself to the protein level. That's why it's always important to fix the error in the DNA. So a cell will score more points if they fix the error in DNA than if they fix it in RNA than if they fix in protein. Remember that. You'll earn more points if you fix the error in the DNA phase. So that's why the DNA errors are always seriously uh, talked about. And in the cell, there are different ways the DNA can be damaged due to radiation, due to heat, uh, due to uh, UV radiations, okay, and also due to uh, mispairing of the bases, putting erroneous base during the process of replication. There are so much causes for the damage. There, there are mutagens that they alter the structures of the DNA, the base pairs of the DNA, all these things can be done. So we, we will discuss about those in a separate video regarding the different DNA mutagens, what they do, how they do the function and everything. But here in this particular lecture, we are concerned about the, the type of repair mechanism that are involved. And let me give you an idea about the type of DNA repair that we need. So first of all, we have a problem. Problem is like a, a, a problem of a single nucleotide change or error, let's say error in single, single nucleotide, <clears throat> okay. Uh, what kind of error? Let's, let's say in the DNA, during the replication of the DNA, obviously DNA polymerase take health from the RNA uh, polymerase, that is the DNA dependent RNA, uh, RNA polymerase, that is a primase enzyme to add primer. Without primer, DNA polymerase cannot initiate the process of DNA replication on its own uh, because it lacks the de novo synthesis feature, right? So sometimes what happens in that, that U is present in the DNA and in the DNA we should not have U, we should have A, G, T, C, not A, U, T, uh, A, U, G, C, right? But if U is present in the DNA, that is taken as an error, this is an error, okay? And if this is the error, we need to fix this error. So we need to recruit a machinery to deal with this error. So if there is any kind of error of a nucleotide in the DNA, which is generally or commonly fixed by base, excision, repair, short form BER, B-E-R, base, excision, repair. Now let's move to the second kind of damage that we are going to talk about. And this damage is generally due to the radiation. A radiation damage cause formation of thymine dimer. Okay, thymine dimer formation. Okay, so this thymine dimer formation, what it causes actually, there is a formation of this dimer due to the thymine's dimer base. There is a formation of this uh, loop, this sort of bubble structure is already formed and that hinders with the DNA's normal uh, spiraling and folding. So we need to cut this out. Otherwise, the DNA cannot function normally. So, this thymine dimer is formed due to radiation. What kind of radiation thymine dimer form for? From UV radiation. And this is the idea that uh, if 
uh, you expose your skin uh, to UV, obviously your DNA in your body that might catch this thymine dimer formation. Okay, so this is the sort of damage, and if this is the sort of damage, then that can be filled by another piece of re repair where not only a single base that need to be modified, but in a stretch of few nucleotides need to be cut out and religation is needed, refilling of the gap is needed. So that is known as nucleotide excision repair, short form NER, NER nucleotide excision repair. So most of you have a confusion between base excision repair and nucleotide excision repair and here is the simplistic view to you that in base excision repair we are only dealing with a single base, a problem in a single base like there is a uracil in a DNA so you need to cut it out, cut the place from out of and, and whatever gap is filled we need to put a new nucleotide there, seal the nick and the job is done. In case of nucleotide excision repair, thymine dimer and, and bigger part of the DNA chunk is cut out and uh, refilling of the gap, sealing of the nick that is need to be done in nucleotide excision repair. And apart from that, we move to the third kind here and the third kind of mutation is uh, the problem that we face is that during the DNA replication, although the DNA polymerase has proofreading activity, but still with with even the proofreading activity in place, there are erroneous nucleotide added, there is, there is a mismatch of nucleotide that is added. So, if there is any sort of mismatch, any sort of mismatch of nucleotide that is added, that mismatch need to be fixed. So, let us say A is in pair with C, uh, C somehow or G somehow, there is a wrong add, wrong bonding. So, wrong, wrong interaction, this should not be present to, to treat this, to fix it, we have methyl mismatch repair or also known as DNA mismatch repair, short form MMS, methyl mismatch repair. And the last kind of repair that we are going to talk about, where the damage is even beyond repair most of the time because these are smaller scale repair mechanisms. But if the DNA structure is damaged, single stranded break, uh, sorry, break or double stranded break to the DNA, then that can be fixed only with two, either of these two machinery, one is the homologous recombination uh, or, sorry, or non-homologous end joining. homologous recombination or non-homologous end joining. So, these are the four different types of uh, repair mechanisms that are involved. Base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, methyl mismatch repair and homologous recombination or non-homologous end joining. In both this case, if there is double stranded break in the DNA due to some stress, physical stress activities or some radiation, if there is DNA breakage, then to fix it, we have homologous recombination or non-homologous end joining. Now, let me tell you an idea about like we will discuss about individual repair mechanisms in details in the upcoming lectures. So, watch this series of lectures to understand the BR, base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, methyl mismatch repair in details. But for your simple understanding here, I will sum it up. What I have here, we have base excision repair, we have nucleotide excision repair, we have methyl mismatch repair and we have uh, homologous recombination or non-homologous end joining. All these four type of uh, repair mechanisms are in place and they are really, really important, very important. But what we need to understand is that in base excision repair, we generally move and remove the erroneous base like generally uracil from DNA and we replace it. For that, we need specific enzymes and the enzymes we need is a glycosylase. Glyco Silase is the enzyme that we need, okay, and we also need AP endonuclease. Endonuclease. What are their roles? What they do? How they function? Everything is discussed in the next le next lecture, so you are going to see that. But DNA glycosylase is needed, and AP endonuclease is needed. Along with that, obviously polymerase is needed, and DNA ligase is also needed for this function to be done properly. And this process obviously require ATP, they utilize ATP. In fact, all of the DNA repair mechanisms are going to utilize ATP. So, we are not going to say that separately. 
The next one is nucleotide excision repair where uh, the repair is generally done for the thymine dimer if you recall. The enzymes involved here is the uh, endonucleases uh, known as excision endonuclease. Okay. Then obviously we need uh, polymerase, we need ligase and we need helicase as well. Okay. So we need all these enzymes involved out there. Excision endonuclease, helicase, TNA polymerase, ligase and obviously require ATP to fix this error which is done due to UV damage. Okay. This is trademark of nucleotide excision repair. Now I will move to the base excision repair again. Uh, now move to the methyl mismatch repair. This is due to a fixing mix match, fixing mismatch. Now what I mean by mix, uh, mismatch here, obviously as I said A with C is a mismatch, G with T is a mismatch like that. To fix the mismatch, obviously here again, we need specific protein known as mute protein, mute S, mute L like that. The separate set of proteins and their functions are involved, we will see that in details in DNA uh, mismatch repair video. So you can watch my DNA mismatch repair lecture. Then we have homologous recombination. In homologous recombination, obviously there is a double stranded DNA break, right, which we are fixing and we fix this with the help of, uh, in homologous recombination, we need a REC, REC A, B, C, D, right, REC B, C, D model in case of E. coli. Uh, is also there and in non homologous in, in joining we need Q, Artemis, okay, all these different other set of proteins uh, in the process of non homologous in joining. So these are the set of and all of them even methyl mismatch repair as well as this homologous recombination they, they, we need energy to fix the DNA errors and DNA problems. Okay. So this video sums up the idea about the type of DNA repair mechanisms that are out there, be it base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, methyl mismatch repair or homologous recombination or non-homologous end joining. If you want to understand individual DNA repair mechanisms in details, what you need to know for your MSc, for your uh, CSI and NAID, get all this examination preparation, watch all the videos in this series because we are going to talk about individual of this process, BUR, NAR, MMR and homologous recombination in details in the upcoming lectures to come. But this big picture is very important. So never forget this big picture when the repair mechanism is involved, why it is so important and they all require energy to do so. So this is it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.